We presented the results of an investigator-initiated clinical trial that was performed in 14 hemophilia treatment centers in Austria and Germany. We enrolled patients with acquired hemophilia A who were not previously treated with immunosuppressive therapy and did not receive immunosuppressive therapy throughout the study. Instead, our patients received bleed prophylaxis with imicizumab. And we found that imicizumab confers excellent protection against bleeding um, while um, leaving out immunosuppressive therapy resulted um, in fewer side effects that we usually see with this kind of treatment. Well, current clinical practice in acquired hemophilia is to treat the bleeding with hemostatic treatment, but then the underlying antibodies against coagulation factors with immunosuppression immediately. So it's an autoimmune disease treated by immunosuppression. However, patients at the start of their disease are very sick. They are often elderly, fragile, so immediate immunosuppression suppression is harmful to them and in the past we saw lots of infections so now with imicizumab we have a bridge we can protect patients from bleeding while they are on imicizumab they can recover and then take the risks of immunosuppressive therapy later on when they have arrived at a better health status I think it is a good thing that as a community um, we do investigator-initiated study that are motivated by burning questions and unmet needs for our patients. So I'm very happy that we received money from the manufacturer of the drug but could design a study on our own here for the purpose of um, improving the care for our patients.